So when we're watching the news, we have to remember that CNN and MSNBC have had the highest ratings that they've ever had with Donald Trump as president. So, you know, they keep covering William Barr and, and nonstop, you know, they're covering him nonstop. It's nauseating. It's turning people off. Independents are saying, look, I'm not going to vote for Democrats. They don't deserve to win. Look at them. They don't deserve to win. We can't allow them in. They're crazy. So you've got independents who are starting to back away. Essentially, C CNN and MSNBC are losing the 2020 election for, for Democrats. Uh, in cahoots with Democrats, by the way, because the politicians are in on this too. But I want to first start with the motivation of CNN and MSNBC. It is better for them. Remember this. It is better for them that Trump is in office. They are better off. So for them, they're not going to care what the consequences are. You might think, oh, no, but they're the good guys. I know you're probably not thinking that, but you know people who think this. They think, oh, no, CNN and MSNBC, they're fighting for the good guys. Uh, Washington Post and New York Times, they're fighting for the good guys. They, they want the good guys to win. No, they don't. No, they don't. Hate to break it to you. They're about making money. They make more money with Trump in office. So they're going to continue the hysteria. They're going to continue this coverage that they know is turning off independents, that they know is losing voters for Democrats, and they don't care because it's gaining them subscribers and viewers and advertisers and money. That's what they care about. So we have to remember that. Now, moving on to the politicians themselves, you know, I watch the news and I see all of the, you know, the, the, the clown car of politicians going in front of the camera saying, well, you know, uh, uh, William Barr, he should resign. He's not really America's attorney. He's uh, clearly the attorney for Donald Trump, which, by the way, I just want to remind you that Eric Holder, when he was asked if he was going to be uh, stepping down as attorney general, he said, no, no, I'm still with my boy. Obama's my boy. He's I'm his wingman. OK, <laughs> so uh, William Barr, if he is playing Trump's wingman, OK, that's what they do. That's what Eric Holder did. And that's what he's doing. It's nothing new. So, you know, I see all these politicians are stepping in front of the cameras. They're they're essentially uh, uh, killing any ounce of civility and democracy that we have left, which is not much. It's been sliding for decades, and it's just now hit an all-time low. And they're doing this, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, doesn't Nancy Pelosi know when she comes out and she says this crap? Doesn't she know that she's just losing the 2020 election for Democrats? I mean, surely she's got to know that this is turning off voters. Surely she knows this. But you know what? She does know this, and she doesn't care. Do you know why? Because also, when Trump is in office... It's better for House Democrats because they win. When he's in office, they keep their seats because the American voter thinks, well, if we're going to have this lunatic as president, we have to balance it out with a Democrat House. So she knows what she's doing. She knows that she's keeping the House blue, and that's her job. She doesn't care about who becomes president. She doesn't really care. You think she cares? She doesn't care. None of them care. They're trying to keep their jobs they don't care about who's actually sitting in the White House. Their job is better, and they can get in front of the camera and act like heroes and say, no, no, this is bad, and this is bad, and Trump's terrible, and he's uh, horrible for our democracy. They get way more face time, way more air time. They get way more notoriety. Their jobs are safer when Trump is in office. So we have to remember the motivations of Congress as well. They're not really for the American people. They're for themselves. They're for their jobs. They're for money. Same thing with the Senate. You know, I mean, they're they're out there trying to win seats. They're trying to win. Everybody's out for themselves. They're just trying to win their own elections or their teammate elections. And they're not thinking about the other branches of government that much. They're really not. If they really cared about the other branches of government, they would go further to do things to protect, let's say, like the judiciary. But they don't. They don't. They confirm all of them. Why? Because they're not cared about. They don't care about them. They care about themselves. So when we're watching the news and when we're listening to these politicians and when they're releasing statements and the news is covering what they're covering, we have to remember to remain skeptical of the whole thing because the reality is everybody's just out for themselves. Now, what about me? What am I out for? Sure, I'm out for myself too, right? We all are. But luckily for you and me, my job and what keeps me here is telling the truth. That's the only thing that is going to continue to, give, to, to keep me in a job. So my job is dependent on telling you the truth. That's actually my job. Because the minute you can sense I'm not telling you the truth is the minute that you're not going to be here anymore. And that is why so many of us independent voices here on YouTube, that is what 
uh, why it's important that we are allowed to stay on here. And there's this threat of being banned, always looming. There's always this threat of all of a sudden being labeled a conspiracy theorist and a dangerous person. But it's important that our voices remain here because our, our job is to tell you the truth. While all of these other people are just out to keep their jobs in other ways. Their, jobs is, their job is to feed into the fear of the average person. And that fear keeps them elected and keeps their ratings up. And we just have to remember that when we, when we read what we're reading and watching what we're watching, that it's all about the money. It's just follow the money.